this is Samuel from Centac and today I'm in Plainsboro, New Jersey. Um, you know, nowhere in particular, you know, just this little town complex. Um, I love small um, towns like this, you know, they have everything um, around the same place, you know, it's a little quiet. Uh, they have different strip malls, small, like a little small town, you know. Uh, but anyway, today what I'm talking about, what I'm reviewing is um, Ultra Mail by John Paul Gitchia. You know, I have it right here. The seasons come and go on like thoughts of you. Like a wave. Um, I believe the perfume came out in 2015, and it's a popular one. You know, I've heard, I've seen a lot of reviews on it. I've, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. For some reason, I never got myself, I never got the chance to get my nose on it. You know, and until just recently, I managed to get it to you know to the Scent Hack, to the Scent Hack store. And so it's available um, to get, and then also to review. You know, so I'm super, I was super, super excited. You know, when I got it, you know, when I when I saw it, you no, know, I like the bottle, the blue, the bluish. Um, it's like a bluish dark um, blue bottle, you know. And um, you know, right to jump into it, when I smelled it, um, the first thing I got was that it, I got this um, kind of clean, aromatic citrus feel you know but it was kind of very aromatic um it kind of reminded me put me reminded me a lot of um versace heroes and then also um blue de chanel it's almost like a mixture between blue de chanel and um versace heroes you know perfumery types you know i've done reviews of these you could check them out but versace heroes is, some, is somewhat aquatic you know so even at some point i was saying when i when i smelled it i was like this must be somewhat aquatic you know and i was so highly suspecting that it has either basil or it has mint you know that's something that um also blue de chanel has blue de chanel actually has nutmeg and it has um even has ginger um it has some spices but night like nice aromatic spices you know so this smelled very very nice you know um even from the beginning the only thing I, I was saying to myself was that I wish it was projecting um, more and I wish it was like stronger on projection, you know, because it was like very low to the skin. Uh, projection, I'll say like 6 out of 10. So it wasn't like all the way in your face like exploding, you know, but it was kind of close to the skin. But it was very, very nice. It was very, very nice and very, very aromatic. You know, it was clean. It was um, kind of, um, I wouldn't say it's like a, a hardcore clubbing smell, but it's like a good dinner scent. Um, a good um, day scent, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Um, you know, you could wear it to business, or you could wear it to work. Uh, it smells very, very nice, very aromatic. It's, it's somewhat unique. You know, it's been a while since I smelled a perfume oil your type, you know, or perfume of this caliber, you know. And like I said, I, this this bad boy here could like easily compete with um, Ruby Chanel and it could also compete with um, Versace Eros, you know. And I put them in that category, you know. And it's been a while. I was saying like, it's been a while that I reviewed um, perfume or perfume oil uh, in that range, you know. And um, I totally like, you know. So I was suspecting basil, I was suspecting mint, you know. Um, I felt like there was some citrus in the background, but it was like not pushing. I was like pushing out, but it was not. It didn't fully come to play, you know. Um, the aroma. And um, when it dry down, you know, this is amazing. Like when I dry, when it dry down, I've never seen anything uh, like this in the dry down. You know? The dry down was just spectacular. I was, and I'm just, I'm not just saying that, you know, to to sound nice, but the dry down was beautiful. You know, um, I love the dry down. You know, although it doesn't project um, strongly, um, when it dries down, it dries down very nice. It dries down to like a aromatic woody. You know, there's something like that's like like woody and aromatic. I was tempted to say musk and maybe tobacco, but it was more of like a woody, dry, muscular, um, like very masculine dry down. You know, and in the beginning, you know, again, quickly going back to the beginning a little bit. You know, I got some citrus. Um, it's a little bit of flora in there, um, but it was like masculine flora, and of course um, the aroma. You know, so it was kind of like. Um, Floral, aromatic, um, warm, um, and then um, you know woody, you know. And I got some. It was like a warm feeling in there. It almost gives you that feeling of cinnamon, 
but you, you, but I could not smell any cinnamon at all. You know, it's like give you that cinnamon sage feel. You know, like get this sage and cinnamon uh, feel. You know, so those are the comp um, the overall composition. You know, it's a very very nice smell. I truly love it. Um, it. It's kind of somewhat unique. You know, like I said, it's like a blend between Blue Blue Chanel and Versace Hero. Uh, wonderfully blended you know this is for the men you know um, there's no mistake about the name when they say ultra male this is exactly <laughs> this is like a male perfume um, it's something that you you stand out among your friends like <laughs> when you get it don't even tell your friends that you got it uh, you stand out I got compliments from this one you know women love this one um, I've well got, got compliments from women um, from this one you know uh, trust me this one smells amazing you know and it's very masculine in terms of dry down and um, and everything you know it lasts on your scene recently uh, maybe four or five hours like I, I one thing that I always wish was that it projects it projected more but a lot of times with perfumes and perfumery types like that are aromatic they're sort of fragile so they don't project they don't um, last super super long and they don't project they don't project as much as we want you know there's always something about it you know it's like they don't project something up they don't project as much as we want you know but besides that this is amazing ultra male john paul Gutierrez type um it's amazing you know so there it is you know um generally the notes you know for the top notes you have um, black lavender you have pear you have mint and you have bergamot so you can know that um so you could tell that the bergamot gives you that bergamot has this citrusy feel you know i don't know what black lavender smells like uh, i've got pear and mint you know the mint i feel like yeah you get the mint when you smell it you could get some of the mint so you know you get some of the mint uh in the opening as well um for the mid notes you have cumin you have um cinnamon you have clary sage you know so yes you smell out the sage you know i even been took the troubles of going through my backyard and um, pulling up some of the sage that I have, you know. And sage have this; it's almost like a citrus bitter smell, um, you know. So it's not entirely, you know, like a bitter citrus smell, but it's also kind of like a little bit aromatic, you know. That's like what you get from the sage, you know. So it was interesting. Um, I, I was growing rosemary, but the rosemary did not grow uh, this summer. Now it's getting cold, so everything is beginning to die off. But the sage was the only thing that grew. And in the bottom notes, you have black vanilla, you have amber, and you have some woods, you know, which basically sums this all, you know. But it's like a wonderful wood, um, nice smell, you know, in the, in the bottom, you know. So that is, that's Ultra Mill, John Paul, Gutierrez type. Uh, if you have used this or you have this, let me know what you think, what you got from it. Uh, leave your comments below this video. Let me know, you know if you used it. Um, or even on the website, you can leave your comments on the website as well. Um, if you want to get this perfumery type, you could totally get it from Scent Hack from our store. Um, you could get it from Scent Hack from my store. Uh, it's $5.99, uh, free shipping. And I'll personally um, send it to you, you know. So... You can get it from below this video. The links are below this video. Uh, just click on the link. You could get it, uh, or you could better so jump on the website and um, you could type it in and get it from there as well. Five dollars ninety nine cents, uh, free shipping as well. You know, I had the retail for the perfume, uh, the, the ultra male cost between seventy and seventy and around one twenty or something like that. You know, so for five dollars ninety nine cents, uh, you cannot uh, beat it. You know. So there it is. The other perfume item that I mentioned, I've done reviews of them not long ago. You know, the, the links are also below this video. You could catch up on them. I know I did a review of them like a, a, a few years back, but there's still some a lot of value in those reviews as well. You know, so you could catch them up. I uh, like this video uh, if it helped you out. Uh, but most importantly, please make sure you subscribe. You know, that's the only way you get my new videos when they come out every week. Um, the subscription button. The subscription button is right here below this video. Make sure you subscribe so you get my new uh, you get my new videos every week. Um, I do write a blog post on the website centac.com. So if you miss anything or if you want to catch up on the notes, you could visit the website um, centac.com. 
and um, you can catch up on the notes and also you know other things new releases and everything i'll put them on the website you know so i know it's getting cold eventually make sure you stay warm um, and you're smelling good as well um, i just did a review of my top five warm um, perfume types so you can check them out as well but besides that you know let me get let me get in let me get warm take care i love you guys thanks for watching and um, until next time